You know, we can hear every word that you're saying. been a troop. About 12 years. Wow. What advice would you have for aspiring comedians? I'd say for young sketch people, I'd say you need to perform live. I know right now, especially with YouTube, everybody wants to just throw videos up and get, get things going that way. But I think you don't really know what you're doing right and what you're doing wrong unless you're on stage. So what's your favorite part about performing live then? I like the plane rides. <laughs> I like flying. That's how rides are fun. Trashing the hotel rooms, right? <laughs> rock stars, or is that just a rock That's star? That's only to me. I get crazy. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's like they let a gorilla loose. Um, I don't know. I like performing live just because there's, you know, the energy is so awesome, and you know, it gets crazy and sloppy sometimes, but it's still fun. My, my favorite thing is we we go on these long car rides, and I get to hang out with three of my best friends, <laughs> Timmy. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's you three. You three. You, you guys are I like being, I like hearing these jokes that never get old for 10 years. Okay, Timmy, let's be honest. Mm -hmm. It seems like there's a lot of jokes going on that you're kind of at the butt of. Is yeah. that hard? Uh, yeah, it's hard, but I don't care. Do you, are you He's all... a fucking powder keg. I, I mean, I'm not allowed to own a gun. Oh, okay. <laughs> and if I did, I'd only need five bullets. So like four, four. Yeah, where's the... Who's the... Well, if you guys forget, I'd have nothing to live for. That's not true either. <laughs> well, it was a sweet sentiment until you threw that in. <laughs> well, I have, a, I have a, like a kid, so I can't yeah. say that anymore. So the, are you all pretty close then? I mean, obviously, no. No, no, no you hate each other. You yeah. sit in opposite corners we of the were, room. I think the best answer to that question is we were close. You were close? Yes. We were close. <laughs> <laughs> it's debatable whether or not you were close. <laughs> Most of us have lived with each other at some yeah, point. Yeah. I mean, we, How we, are you still friends? Everyone I've lived with. We, that's right. another we thing. Don't is we speak. have to be we because to, we yeah. work together. Right. Right. We, I mean, we have to. Be. But we do like hang out with each other occasionally when we're not doing stuff. But we are kind of doing stuff all the time. It seems. I mean, there's been times we're just with each other every fucking day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Um, but yeah, you have to be friends in order to kill each other. Well, hold on right there a second, buddy. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm wild about the phrase, I'm going to grape you in the mouth for our new mascot. We're just not sure about that one. Yeah, I want to workshop it a bit. Really? Yeah, yeah that's, that's, what that's what he said. That's what he said. He goes and he grapes people in the mouth. He sneaks into little kids' rooms in the middle of the night, and he grapes them in the mouth while they sleep. Well, I think to me, the problem is, to me, if, these, if you upload this, it's going to sound like no one's laughing <laughs> This is true. Um, Did it start out as kind of a little hobby at school, or yeah. was it just like, this is what we want, we're going to do what we need to do to get it? When I met the guys a year, about a year after the troop form, I met them, and they asked me to join or whatever, and Trevor told me that, he's like, this is going to be, this is what we want to be our job. Mm -hmm. like, so that's kind of what was the understanding even back then was that we wanted to do this. So, yeah. It sounds like arrogant, but it was really just like stupidity. Stupidity. I just got drunk. I got drunk for a stupidity. second. Stupidity. It was stupidity. It was stupidity. It was, no, I mean, it wasn't stupidity, but it was just like, like, well, I don't know. We had no grounds to be so confident, yeah. but we were like really driven. Good. So, where do you get the inspiration for your sketches? Crack. Uh, yeah. yeah, we just do crack and listen to dubstep. <laughs> I have to admit, I don't understand dubstep. You've obviously never smoked crack. <laughs> it's like a song's going on, and then aliens come in, they attack the song, and oh, you're okay. listening to them bomb the song and like shoot missiles at it and everything. It's amazing. And, and that's, that's where the sketches come from. Yes. yes. That's where the dubstep comes from. <laughs> So you have a lot of like songs, and I saw you have the guitar. Like, is music a big part of what you do? Did I mean, I don't think it's really a big. I mean, like Trevor has like his. What, how many have you got? Like five, six that have gone on the show. Yeah, yeah. ten. Maybe we'll get a song or two a season. So, so if you don't do it in the live show, does that mean I have no hope for the dinosaur rap tonight? No, I tried it once, and uh, it was really hard to. Um, it's hard to run around on stage and rap. Yeah. Like I would it's easy, imagine. It's easy to do it in like a recording studio, but like, you know, when you have to run around and do it, it's hard. That's probably why Britney lip syncs, right? Yeah. Or it's why all rappers all are really in shape. Except why are they for the what? big fat ones. There's like rappers. Fat Joe, dead. Yeah. Biggie, dead. There's like the big fat rappers that don't do anything. They sit in like a throne or something and then they rap. And then there's the ones that are like, you know, really like in shape. And you have to be one or the other. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about 
Trap and Laura. <laughs> Jack Off Slop Shop Food with Attitude. My name is Jerry. I'm your waiter, so I'm going to be ignoring you this evening. So if you'd like anything, feel free to shut up and get it yourself. <laughs> this tubby guy to my left is Timmy. Timmy's new here, so he's going to be following me around and taking notes from a master. Say hello, Timmy. Hello. Now, let's start off with drink orders. Let me guess. A couple of Cosmos for you. You guys are faggots. <laughs> Slow it down a little bit, okay? Uh, we'll have a couple of Cokes. Okay, big man with the Coke. I'm sure you can handle all that sugar there, Sweet Tooth. Actually, I'll get a beer. Oh, okay. At least there's one real man at the table. See that, ladies? Ladies. Hey, if you girls want to use the restroom, it's right down the hall on the left. I know how you girls like to go together. So you can wash out your filthy pussies. <laughs> What's the biggest challenge you've had as a troop? Oh, Timmy. You're asking me for, for to give you an answer, are you saying that is the answer? Um, I was going to see where you're going to go with it. I mean, I think that, like, the biggest challenge kind of came before things started to pick up, which is just, like, persevering. When we were doing the live club shows, we gave up our weekends for for multiple years. Mm -hmm. Like, like Saturdays were devoted to rehearsing for, or for writing sketches, and Sundays were devoted to getting that show together. And the, there was no, you know, there's no promise that we were, and we had nine to five jobs, working five days a week, and there's no promise that there was going to be a job at the end of this, yeah. you know, so we could have done that for, for years and had it amount to nothing. Working as a team, like, do you find that you take on different roles, like, in the creative process or with setting up for shows? I sort of feel like I take her to, like, the kind of the, Step of like the like father and like every other like, one's like like my little girls. Uh -huh. Weird, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, a very dad. inappropriate, yeah. grumpy dad. Yeah. <laughs> Trevor and Zach direct like everything that we do, so there's that role. I like uh, I play girls a lot. <laughs> um, Timmy is the play, wacky guy. Play little kid, the wacky guy. <laughs> the wacky Timmy's the you need someone to break a watermelon. <laughs> I'm fucking right there. <laughs> I wear a lot of stripy shirts. How did the drag component come up? Was it just like one day you decided? Oh, You're like, fine, Darren, do it. I don't. We don't care anymore. Yeah. Stop I really asking. I really think I should play the girl. <laughs> we can get girls, Darren. <laughs> no, no. No, no. So we're all dudes in the troupe, and um, yeah, and uh, girls aren't funny. And girl, no, not that the girls, girls aren't funny. Just just no, we're just not good at talking. We're not having them like us. Yeah. <laughs> girls don't really like us that much. They wouldn't do our stuff. Um, so we just did it. We're like this all the time. Girls don't want to be around us. <laughs> I am seriously running out of questions. Can no, you fine. think of anything cool. that you want to ask? Uh, no. I'm the camera person. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the camera person. <laughs> that would be a great sketch. A newscaster would be interviewing like, somebody. Oh. Going to the boot guy, like, did you have anything? He's like, me? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the camera guy's like, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm good. I'm fine. <laughs> well, you know, the last <laughs> one. Snacks. I like that. Yeah. For the last, like, quarter of a century you've been just like there reminding me why I'm forgetting shit. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, well, Jenny the makeup girl here. Jenny, did you want to ask You me? only told the me like five of the questions. <laughs>